edit photo. Enhance. To enhance or to color correct the photos, select the photo and go to the edit photo option. In here, select the enhance option. In the basic fuller tab, select the BCG option. Here, it'll help you adjust brightness, contrast and gamma of the photos. Adjust the press size and the feather of the correction tool from here. Keep the control key pressed to activate the correction mode. And keep the shift key pressed to revert the correction. You'll find the correction tool in every option. Or you can use the reset all button to reset the changes. From the RGB option, you can adjust the red, green and blue value of the photo. Use the reset all button to reset the changes. With the help of the curve option, you can enhance and color correct your photos very easily. Use the load original button to load your original image. With the level option, you can adjust the tonal range and the color balance of the photo. From the blur option, you can blur the photo. Colorize your photo with the colorize option. With the color picker tool, select any color from the entire screen and apply it onto the photo. Adjust the opacity of the color and the color level from the opacity and the level option. Now apply feather effect from the feather option. Reset the changes from the reset button. Adjust the opacity of the photo from the opacity option. From the crop option, you can crop the photo. Select the landscape or portrait option as per your photo orientation. Select the desired ratio from the aspect ratio tab. To do freehand cropping, uncheck the maintain aspect ratio checkbox and crop like this. Define the width and height of the photo from the width and height option. The actual DPI of the photo will be displayed here. Select the units from the units option. From the rotate option, you can rotate your tilted photos. Adjust the angle of the photo. The grid line will guide you to keep the photos parallel. Or you can uncheck the show grid checkbox to remove the grid lines. Now click on the artistic filters to use various artistic effects, such as mosaic, ripple, shift, splash, implode, squirrel, illusion, 3D grid, soft lens, oil paint, sepia, and charcoal. To apply the sepia effect, click on the checkbox of sepia. Use the load original button to load the original image. Third party plugins used in Photoshop are supported by Album Express. To import the third party plugin, just click on the Advanced Filter tab and click on the Import Plugin button. From here, you can import your third party plugins. After applying all the changes, click on the Save button to save the changes over the existing photos. Or click on the Save As button to create a copy of the photo. Give the file a name and click on OK. Lasso. To apply lasso cutting to the photos, select the photos and go to the Edit Photo tab and select the lasso option. To apply the lasso cutting on the photo, select the path. Now if you've selected an incorrect path, right click to come back. To remove an unwanted layer from the selected path, click on the Invert Layer button. To see the changes, use the After button. To save the lasso cutting, click on the Save As button, give the file a name, and click on OK. Chroma. To give chroma effects to your photos, select the photo and go to the Edit Photo tab. Here, select the chroma option. Use the color picker tool to choose the chroma color. Here, like this. You can also adjust the feather and tolerance of the photo. Adjust the press size and the feather of the correction tool from here. Keep the control key pressed to activate the correction mode. Keep the shift key pressed to revert the correction. To save the changes done, go to the Save As button. Give it a name and click on OK. Touch up. To give a touch up to your photos, select the photo first and from the Edit Photo tab, select the touch up option. You can adjust the brush size accordingly. You can also easily adjust the feather and the opacity 
for your photo. Select a clone point with Alt and click. Now touch up your photos. Keep the control key pressed to activate the correction mode. Click on the save button to save the changes over the existing photo. Or click on the save as to create a copy of the photo. Give the file a name and click on OK. Eraser. To erase the unwanted area in the photo, select the photo and go to the Edit Photo tab. Select the Eraser option. Here you can adjust the brush size accordingly. You can also adjust the feather and the opacity from here. To erase the unwanted area, left click on the area. Keep the control key pressed to activate the correction mode. Now click on the load original button to load the original image. Click on the save button to save the changes over the existing photo. Or click on save as to create a copy of the photo. Give the file a name and click on OK. Highlight. To highlight any area on the photo, select the photo and go to the Edit Photo tab. In that, click on the Highlighter option. Here, you can adjust the brush size accordingly. You can also adjust the feather and opacity from here. To highlight any area, just left click and highlight. Keep the Control key pressed to activate the correction mode. Click on the Load Original. To load the original image, click on the Save button to save the changes over the existing photo. Or click on the Save As to create a copy of the photo. Give the file a name and click on OK. Photoshop To edit any photo in Photoshop, select the photo from the Edit Photo option and select the Photoshop option. Now, this option is available only for Pro users. If you have defined the part of the Photoshop software in the Preferences, the selected photo will directly open in the Photoshop software. If you haven't defined the part, you will be asked to define the part now and open the photo. Until you're editing the photo in Photoshop, Album Express will be locked and you won't be able to perform any actions in Album Express. Here, do the required editing and save the photo at a desired location. The Album Express will be open in the Photo tab. Browse from the Browse button and give the path of the Location folder of the edited photos. Insert the photos by selecting the existing photo. Now if you want to directly use the edited photos in Album Express from the Photoshop editor, then go on to the File menu in Photoshop. Choose Script. Now choose Script Event Manager option. A window will appear where you have to check the checkbox of Enable Event to Run Scripts or Actions. In this way, you can edit the photos in an external software and easily bring in to Album Express.